What's up, everybody? It's your boy Al. Uh, happy Thursday to everyone. Um, I wanted to do this video. I wanted to do it a couple of days ago. Um, a little bit behind. Um, but I wanted to do this video um, on recent discoveries about uh, the Cheddar Man. Um, now, the Cheddar Man is not a man made of cheese. Um, it is a um, 10 plus thousand year old um, corpse that was found about a hundred so years ago I think in uh, uh, 1903 um, it was discovered and they've been doing recently with the technology um, a lot of research and test on it um, and it was uh, the Cheddar Man called the Cheddar Man uh, because it was found um, they actually found the uh, the uh, skeleton um, in Cheddar Gorge, which is somewhere around Somerset, England. Um, and so they recently done uh, have done DNA tests with technology that we have now, because of course in 1903, there isn't really much technology uh, to find out is, uh, more information. Um, um, but they basically took uh, the fossilized skeleton and did t test and they found out um, through some of the DNA testing they did uh, that the Cheddar Man, uh, who was found again in, in Somerset, in, near Somerset, England, um, had dark skin, which um, suggests, as the headline said, that um, the most of the people from um, what we know as modern England, the original people, were dark skinned people, which set uh, a little bit of a firestorm, particularly among whites, um, which... I really got to tell you, I really don't understand why. Uh, he, here's why. He did not say that the study did not, did not reveal that um, all the white people living in England now are really black. It's not what he said. He said a fossilized skeleton that was found that's over 10,000 years old. Um, originally, uh, that, that, that fossilized corpse skeleton um, genetically was revealed that it had dark skin, which suggests that um, the people, the first people to settle in modern England um, were people of dark skin. Didn't say African, just said dark skin, which, again, um, drew a lot of backlash on social media of all sorts. And I really can't understand why what what's the big deal with the original people who settled in england having dark skin here's what we know right here's what's universally agreed upon it is universally agreed upon that life started in africa can we all agree on that like everybody the cradle of civilization after the oldest corpse ever found was of a woman in Africa. So it is universally agreed upon that life, human life, started in Africa and from that point of view spread throughout the entire world. Uh, if you study the Bible like me, um, we believe that life spanned from three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, the sons of Noah. Um, the races are now defined as Mongoloid, Caucasoid, and Negroid. All right, that's what they define the three main race characteristics as, right? But we know that original man started or um, first came to be in Africa. And nobody really disputes that. So if we know that, why would it be such a shock or so, such an offensive thing that 10,000 years ago, the people there still had some color in their skin. If we know that all people came from Africa, somewhere along the line, everybody who migrated anywhere had color. So what's the problem? I mean, I, I don't I don't get it. It's not much of it there now. But to me, this makes complete sense with everything that scientifically we'd agreed upon for years is that everybody came from Africa. Africa 
uh, the people came from Africa had have skin of color, various colors, because we know that there's a gene um, that um, discovered there's a gene that 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 uh, causes lighter skin in some. That's why you have in certain regions of Africa, there are some people who are blacker than my TV and some people who are a little bit lighter and without any inbreeding um, or, or any 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 uh, interracial um, breeding. And, and we understand that, but it doesn't make any sense that, that, that this discovery of the Cheddar Man would get such backlash, right? Because a lot of people, some people on me are like, well, where did all the white people come from? Well, let's talk about that. Um, we know that as people migrated to different parts of the world, um, where there was less sunlight, the skin had to adapt because there was less sunlight. So lighter skin, uh, number one, it, 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 it produces more vitamin D, which is what a lot of people in those parts in England, when, when, when farming came to, came about uh, modern farming, they lacked vitamin D number one. And also because of the lack of sunlight, we know that the skin had to adapt to that and lighter skin absorbs more sunlight. So after thousands of years of, of not as much sunlight as you were originally intended to get, being where you were originally from, the skin changes, it mutates into something different over time. That's happened everywhere, okay? You look to the east, to the north, that's what happened. You look to Australia, you look to places closer to the equator, Africa, Australia, North America, South America, places closer to the equator, still color, right? Places up north, east, far east, not much color because the skin had to adapt over time. It changed from what it originally was over time. And that's interesting when you think about it. And that explains really a lot why white people, some white people, are up in arms about the discovery that the original Europeans were people of color. Because if you have since modern civilization if you have always portrayed yourself as the dominant race if you have always made other people of darker hue feel inadequate about having darker skin black people indian people native american hispanic people uh, aborigine indigenous people all over the world if you have gone throughout modern history and always painted the narrative that you're the superior because of the color of your skin and others are inferior because of the dark hue of their skin. Then what Cheddar Man does is it brings a stark reminder that white skin color is not anything to brag about. White skin basically is a mutation and came about because of the nutrients that it was not getting. So white skin, in essence, is a deformity of sort. Not a, it's not like a withered hand or a club foot, but it's a sort of deformity. And it's interesting when you look online and you try to look up something about white skin and why people have white skin, it, it, the, it is, it's, it's comical because it'll say things like the evolution of white skin. Evolution? Of white skin i understand adaptation but you see how they try to evolution it's a step up it's a higher evolution that's what evolution means that you you've you've gone you've become more advanced no no sir and so for people who practice white supremacy it shoots your whole argument in the foot it shoots your whole argument in the foot because your skin color, if you're white, is not a superiority. 
your skin color is a defect. And you can't go around the world claiming superiority with your defect to people who look like they're supposed to look. Right? You you can't do that. See, see too great, too great. I don't want to say great. What's the right word? Too fortunate things that happened for the white race that allowed things to be the way they are now. Number one, um, the advanced weaponization of gunpowder. Um, it was through the advanced weaponization of gunpowder that Europeans were able to develop um, modern weaponry and oppress and genocide every people of color. Right? Native Americans, the uh, Aborigine, indigenous um, people all over the world of color whites were able to use their modernized weaponry to oppress and begin painting the picture um, of their superiority over anyone of color who did not have you can't fight guns um, with spears sticks bows and arrows you can only do that for so long so that's the first thing that happened but the second and probably the most even not as important because nothing's more important than that but the second very important thing that happened in favor of whites was their advanced artistry the medieval ages and particularly the renaissance period i live in houston texas we have the museum of fine arts wherever you live if you have a museum of fine arts in your city go to the museums the whatever art museums, um, um, traditional art museums you have in your cities. And just look at the walls. That's how whites painted the picture that they are superior because they were the ones to initially paint the pictures. Right? You look at all these pictures in our history books of all these queens and princes and kings with all this elaborate jewelry and all this stuff, all, all these, these, these sires and the pictures of Jesus and pictures of Mary and pictures of, of, of anybody historically. Um, I recently took my, my kids at my church um, to the Museum of Fine Arts. And it was a great experience and I appreciate art, but it's nothing but white people. And in the medieval ages and the, renaissance PC. what you have to understand is art before then you painted on caves on walls on parchments and you couldn't take that everywhere right it has to stay where it is the only thing we have of that is our photos um parchments get lost throughout been lost throughout history but with michelangelo and leonardo da vinci um and all these artists uh, of the 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 the, the, the medieval and the and the and the renaissance all these great artists painted white into beauty. And with this advancement in art, Europeans were able to hold these pictures up, take them all over the globe, hold them up all over the globe and say to the world, this is beauty. That's how they did it. That's how they did it. They were able to do that and use that means to say to the rest of us dark people that this, what you see on this painting is beauty. The Mona Lisa, um, the, the, the Last Supper, um, any painting out there you can think of. Um, and again, I appreciate and I love art, but that is how white became the main reason white became the standard of beauty. But with things like Cheddar Man, it is a stark reminder that white skin is not some high level or high evolution in skin color. It is a defect for a, because of a lack of what it needed to stay its original color. And you can't claim superiority with a defect. 
And white people are in arms because people of color, we taking this thing back. We taking this, this standards of beauty. We taking this thing back. We are taking it back. And they don't like it. You can't continue. To, you can't see a little girl with kinky hair and brown skin and tell her she's not up to par. Yes, she is, because her skin is the way it's supposed to look. Yours not. You, you, you No more of this um, telling um, a, a young uh, model or actress or singer to go on a photo uh, shoot for a cover of Cosmo or whatever one of these magazines is, and you try to bring in some makeup or some lighting to make her skin lighter. No, leave her skin as it is. She doesn't have the defects. She doesn't need that lighting. Leave her skin the way God made it. You need some lighting to make you darker because you're unnatural, not not us. And I don't mean to be all white people are evil, blah, 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 and white people are the devil because I really do all that. But you ought to draw the line somewhere. Um... Let us stop, and we do it within ourselves. Stop, stop thinking all this white that's going throughout us, the the the, the light skin. The, God, God, I mean, nothing against our, our our you know light skin brothers and sisters, but that's not you didn't win the genetic lottery because um, Massa ran up in it back in the day. You didn't win a genetic lottery because that that's 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 a dark that. The, the the honestly you want to be brutally honest these these light skin wavy hair people a lot of them who've come throughout the years are just uh brutal reminders of the brutality that your ancestors and our ancestors faced that's what light skin it always meant to me growing up and people try to throw how they light skin and i'm black i'm like man don't get mad at me because master couldn't hit it when my family hit it in yours and i'm still look you know still brown skin and you not i would turn it around on them um, so um, I say all that to, to say we taking this thing back. <clears throat> the standards of beauty, we, we taking it back. No longer will we be defined uh, or let people who have a skin defect define what's beautiful. Um, th those days are over. <clears throat> and, I, you know, I believe, you know, Beyonce's father, as much as I don't like to do, he was on to something when he talked about Beyonce, you know, making it because of her light skin. I mean, if he's wrong, where's where are the Lauren Hills and the again, like somebody said, the where are the Lauren Hills and, and the, the 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 Patty LaBelles of today, where 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 are they at? Um, where where are those brown skin uh, singers um, that are, that that were around? It could be around um, Aretha Franklin. Where where are all where where are they at? Where, where are the brown skin sisters? Who can blow like nobody's business? Why are they not getting the deals? Why we got to see, and Beyonce ain't one of them because she can really sing and she can really dance. But why we got to see all these light skinned, pretty girls who can half hit a note when you got some girl who's like me or darker who can blow the roof off and can't get a deal because she don't look like somebody who the executive producer want to bang? I mean, what, 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 where are the, the, the brown skin? Where are the brown skin sisters? Um, in in the music industry, where where are they? And I'm stoked for this Black Panther because they got a lot of black, I mean, blue black uh, brothers and sisters in this movie, and I'm I'm excited about it. I'm fans of of of, of all of them, and I'm excited about this movie. And and so um, I just want to uh, conclude this video by saying, um, white people, don't be upset. You know where you come from. You know where we all come from. Don't be upset. Don't be upset set that your skin is a defect and stop trying to pass it off as a superiority because it's not. We're taking this thing back. Don't forget to follow me, Al Prince II, on YouTube. Put your responses in. Tell me what you think, whether you agree, disagree. Just try to keep it respectful. Peace.